Hey guys, so I guess there is a firestorm in MetaZoo, and I didn't realize there would be one. So Nick Strength and Pokemon mentioned that we had talked before about being interested in buying MetaZoo together. It's not really any updates on that. Uh, we had talked about a number that would make sense for me and him, and at that time, we were only really... I was only interested in the Hello Kitty product and any available alpha investment promos and playmats that so it wasn't really about IP in the first stages of talking. There needs to be a lot of work. Uh, people don't really understand bankruptcy. I am a lawyer and there is a law channel that is doing really well right now because of Dr. Disrespect's legal issues. Knock on wood, hope the best for him. Seems like a very nice guy. And yeah, so I have a law channel. I'm barred in New York where I don't know if it's true for every bar. It is illegal for you to represent yourself as a lawyer if you are not actually a lawyer, right? If you're not allowed to practice law in any one of these states. Now I do IP, which is really relevant for this particular issue because there is going to be an IP headache just from reading or reviewing Nick's stuff. Does the artist have the IP to it? Is it like Magic the Gathering where Teresa Nielsen makes a painting for them and they license the painting for a fee and the artist gets proofs, right? And they also get to keep the painting. So when they sell the painting, they make all the money. So Teresa Nielsen would receive 100% of the money earned from selling her own painting. Or is it a different contract? No one really knows until you see the contract. How two artists got a percentage of it. How Steve Aoki got 45% of the company. How Mike Waddell doesn't even have control. Like you guys, he doesn't have 51%. He doesn't even have 50%. Right? He's got a little bit more than Steve Aoki, but not by much. And it wouldn't take many people to vote. In fact... You got Craig at 5% and you have the Victor Larson guy at 1%. So Victor decides and Craig decide, hey, we want to go with Steve's plan. Well, Mike Waddell is on a boat with no paddle. Now, if you would hire a bankruptcy attorney, I know a really good one, you're talking about $40,000, $50,000. That is basically what Mike Waddell is paying his bankruptcy attorney right now to do the filings, if not more. Then you're talking about an IP attorney to sort out the IP. There's Sanrio licensing. You know, can you use the license? Are they going to shut your license down? Or are they going to sue you? You have a lot of people, even after bankruptcy, with really hurt feelings because you stole their money. They might sue you for a contract, breach of contract. They might sue you for... You can sue anyone for anything. And the problem with America today is if you're not a lawyer, you're going to, they're going to bully you. Sanrio has infinite amount of money in in-house counsel. Shopify has infinite amount of money in in-house counsel. So if they know they can put you in court for the next four or five years, and you're going to be paying half a million dollars for that, you're probably just going to settle, right? So the IP is an issue. The legal stuff, the contracts, the distributor contracts, that's all big, big issue that I can handle on a professional manner. The other issues, right? The Chinese factory. The Chinese factory has a PSD of all your cards because they're the ones who printed them. China law is very different from America law. You're not going to, a bankruptcy court nor any court in America will have any hold over that Chinese factory from reprinting everything to the ground. The only way you can stop that Chinese factory from doing so is A, probably re renegotiating a deal. And they don't care if you bankrupt or not. They are out money. And they have all the things that they need to print every single card that you gave them. <laughs> you know, they're, they're kind of, they kind of have a little bit of leverage here, yeah? I can work out the Chinese company, right? I already know them. I have a friend who is a good friend with uh, one of the VPs of the company. I can work out that issue. 
And then the last issue, probably the most important issue, is raw capital. Um, I know people think that because I make YouTube videos, right? Eight minute YouTube videos, by the way, not one hour, not 15 minutes, not 10 minutes. That maybe my business is not successful. And my argument here is I play golf a shit ton. My home and the reason I bought my home is there is a very beautiful golf course, the best golf course in Houston. We just had the live tournament. Uh, and, you know, I play that golf course every Sunday, probably every Sunday, most Sundays if I'm here. I travel a lot. I vacation a lot. When you are successful, you have a lot of time to explore your hobbies. One of them being, I'm not, people say I have two channels. I actually have three channels. Uh, one of the channels is 16.2 thousand. That is my dog channel. Uh, it used to be a marketing channel, but I just said, you my dog's too cute. Let's make videos about my dog. Why not? Uh, one is uh, this channel, and then one is my law channel. So it would be really weird, right, for me to make a law channel where every video is titled Lawyer on This and not be in jail right now for impersonating a lawyer, right? <laughs> but, you know, hey, you guys are online. You guys are a lot smarter than me, right? I'm sure you've all attended a top law school like I did. Not really. Um, I have just kind of lost interest in buying the company, to be honest. I think people are very toxic. Not everyone. Like I said, Nick is a great guy. If he wants to talk about my perspective on the company, I'm happy to tell him. It is going to be a money sink. The capital you would need, right? I actually tried to convince one of my friends. He's a really famous doctor here in Houston. And, and one of my other friends who does magic with me, he owns a uh, energy trading company, and we've run our stores together. So whenever I have a store, and also I have had a store before. And more to the point, like when you look at other potential buyers, they don't have any employees. They've never owned a business. You know, I think when I talk to Nick, he runs his channels, but I don't know if he has an employee or, you know, a business like um, with multiple employees. It's not easy to hire and manage people. Uh, I had to learn. It was a very expensive learning lesson for me to do. So also, like, why do I have so many? It's, it's shorts. It's YouTube shorts. Like, it's so funny the people who accuse you of this, they're just, like, doing copyright infringement shorts, right? They Eventually, their channels will be shut down for copyright infringement by Walt Disney. But, um, yeah, everything is shorts now. Like, that's that's the name of the game, guys. If If you go on multiple channels and they're big channels... Uh, you, if you go on a short thing and you see them, they have like a ton of subscribers, but they don't really have that many views on their actual videos. It's just that their shorts do really well. That's the trend. You know, the, also the trend is to do live streams. Live streams perform really well, but I just don't have the uh, time to do it. As funny as that sounds, right? You know, I live near a beautiful golf course. I just go whenever I drive past it to pick up food. Um, also, the other thing, I think the easiest way I can say it is my significant other, we are in a serious relationship. Uh, we're expecting a daughter August 10th or August 11th, you know, sometime there. Um, we're going to try for natural birth, not an induction. I don't really have the time. So money, expertise, like, you know, all this stuff. Like, I don't know. I don't think the Meadows Duke community understands. Like, who the hell are you going to find better than me? Oh, Alpha Investments. Really? Re re really? Okay, well, I mean, I guess, right? I mean, maybe he'll post some new videos about it, but he'll never repost the deleted videos. Argos? Where the hell's Argos? Some mystery investor that does not exist that you made up in your head? Let me tell you what's going to play out. If Nick, and I, I wish Nick the best, if Nick is not able to form a team... And I would imagine that one member of a team to save a lot of money and headache in the future and right now would need to be a lawyer or have access to a legal team, right? And they would need capital. They would need expertise in China, right? If they want to continue that route. And I think they need to continue that route because, oh, this Chinese manufacturer has literally the ability to print you to the ground, <laughs> you know? Uh, you probably need some licensing. So again, IP, I, I mean, specifically, you need a bankruptcy attorney, an IP attorney, a contract attorney, 
and an attorney to make sure that you aren't going to be sued to oblivion once you buy this thing. So, yeah, the Better Zoo community doesn't want me to be part of it. I'll continue to make videos about you guys. Um, I find it very interesting. If Nick does acquire it, you know, I will give him every benefit of the doubt. I'll even buy some for whatever his price re full retail. You got to think, guys. You got to, like, put your head together. If Nick doesn't form a team, and they might not be, you might not be a fan of, you know, every single team member. I'm just going to put it out there. It's going to be a team of probably at least four people, if not more. You may not be a fan of every single one of these team members, but at the end of the day, they all contribute capital, and hopefully they contribute something of value, like being an IP attorney with 10 years' experience, or owning a marketing agency with 10 years' experience, or having access to capital, because I play golf every weekend. Right? <laughs> you know, it's... uh. It's, it's crazy to me what will happen, and I learned this in mergers and acquisitions in law school, is you're going to have a company and all they're going to do is liquidate it. They won't care as much as Nick does. They won't. And part of when I talked to Nick was, Nick, you have to be the face of this. I don't want to be the face of this. Um, again, happy to give Nick advice, but between my pregnant significant other my other responsibilities, including being a lawyer, and you know, I, I've actually uh, trying to do a lot of charity work in the meantime right now. But we have hospital, like we have hospital, we have uh, we had to visit the hospital last week, but we have um, doctor visits every single week from here on out until she gives birth. And I got I got to manage my company, right? I have to make sure my company is set. I have to make sure, like at this particular moment in time. I know people are very easy. They want to criticize you, but yeah, there's a lot going on on my life, uh, but I still have time to hang out with my friends, play golf. Um, my girlfriend, she plays golf. So that's a little bit better. So obviously pregnant. Uh, this is, we had to skip uh, Pokemon Go Cyndaquil day. We actually met playing Pokemon Go. So we played every single Pokemon Go event, but her belly is so big and so on. And again, you know, um, we're not going to New York for GoFest. This is probably, I mean, we went to New York for GoFest last year. We went to New York for uh, Mewtwo Shadow Rage just uh, a few uh, weeks ago, it seems. Uh, there's a lot of things that I want to do that I cannot do because I'm starting a family. And that's my main and primary concern. And if I'm going to get this hatred, I'm going to get the toxic and the vitriol, Go effing find someone else, right? And you're going to find out that lawyer is going to cost you forty, fifty thousand dollars for bankruptcy. That lawyer is going to cost you forty, fifty thousand dollars for contracts, probably over a hundred for IP issues that you're going to face, and who knows how much for all the other people who want to sue you to the ground, right? You stole one point seven million dollars. You misspent. Sorry, you didn't steal. You misspent one point seven million dollars. That's a lot of people you hurt. Um, in, in America, just because somebody says bankruptcy does not mean you are forgiven of your sins. In fact, when I look at Nick's video, there are a lot of people who think that once Nick buys the company, he's just going to fulfill their pre-orders. Right? <laughs> Imagine that. A company, like, I, I mean... Yeah, I, I, I really had true interest in buying it, but I didn't want, I wanted it to be more in the shadows that Nick handle the PR, like Nick do all that stuff. I handle all the legal. I have a marketing agency. We can handle all the marketing. We can handle, um, if I was still single, I would definitely do it. I'm not single anymore. There are other more important things in my life than MetaZoo. But that being said, I want to wish Nick the best of luck. He's got my cell phone number. I have his. Um, if he ever wants to reach out, ask any legal issues, uh, my suggestion would be to hire a bankruptcy attorney so that person can get you the information that you want. Without a bankruptcy attorney, I think it will be difficult because many of these people already have. If somebody wanted to actually buy this company, and that's a if, that's a big if, they I 100% guarantee you they have a lawyer. 
they have a lawyer to push it. Um, again, this company at one time made $21 million. That is a lot of money. There are going to be venture capital. There are going to be specific companies that deal with bankruptcy that may be interested in buying it and flipping it and, and doing, you know, very, very negative things about it because at that point they don't care about their reputation. And hell, the next person who buys it may just do the same exact pattern as the current owner. They might just do a bunch of pre-orders, get people really hyped, build some trust, do pre-orders for, let's say, $4.7 million this time, and then file for bankruptcy. Like, the one thing that, like, gets to me, and then this is, I'm, I'm going to be honest, this is probably 25% of the reason, I, a, a large, the majority of the reason is I'm having a kid in August. And we don't need MetaZoo in our lives. When I first talked to Nick, it was about um, getting MetaZoo to Hello Kitty because my girlfriend really loves Koromi. That's her favorite character of all time. And she's like, hey, there's some really cool Koromi Plus. There's this Koromi card. There's this, 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 this. this. Right? I mean, um, she no longer has that interest. Uh, we're, we're, she's moved on to Weiss Schwartz, right? And we're buying like, tonight we're bidding on a few different auctions in Japan. Uh, how can I say it? 25% of the reason is if Nick doesn't buy it, it's going to end up in somebody's hands that is much worse than Nick's. So instead of attacking all Nick's, not every partner is going to be perfect. You're not going to love every single partner. But for Nick to buy it, based on the financials and my understanding of everything, he's got to at least raise a decent chunk of capital. And he's had, he has to have a team in place. And like I said, you're either going to have a lawyer as one of your partners, specifically an IP attorney, because that's what all the collabs, I don't know if people understand, a collab just means a license. It's just license. There may be a lot of breach of contract. I mean, I don't know. I mean, there's this licenses at Walmart and Target and all this has to, you're going to need a lawyer to look at, oof, like oof, amounts of documents, right? And to hire a lawyer would be just mad expensive because they can sell you a lemon. They can sell you a lemon. If you don't have an attorney to protect you from buying that lemon or from putting things in that would be protective of yourself, you're going to fail. So, you know, I'm, I'm there for Nick if he wants to talk about it, but I don't think um, due to the Meadow Zoo community, I have any interest in being part of buying it. Um, that being said, maybe that's true today. Again, um, if you really, really love Nick and support Nick, you need to help him find some partners. I'll just leave it at that. Running a business like this, not easy to do. It is full of people you owe money to, and even if bankruptcy says you don't owe money to them, doesn't mean they can't sue you for something else. So you win for now, MetaZoo community, but I also win because I get to make these videos.